Tonight, one Lee County school principal is apologizing and now overhauling school safeguards after a five year old student was forced to walk home from school. And the mother of that child calling Fox 4 after she said her son, an elementary school kindergartner at Tropic Isles, walked nearly four miles to get home. Fox 4's Calvin Lewis spoke with that upset mother tonight, also asking school leaders how could this happen? It happened right here at the Tropic Isles Elementary School. A five year old student who was mistakenly thought to be walking home from school when he was meant to be on the school bus. You're going to release a five year old just to walk down the road and wander off? It makes no sense. Confusion, anger, and disbelief. That's how Cecilia Willis felt after getting a call from her neighbor that her five year old son, Isaiah, was found walking alone on his way home from school. She was like, he said he walked. And I was like, whoa. Like, I know how far I live from the school, so no way he walked home. That distance, roughly three and a half miles, not to mention busy intersections along the way. When a neighbor found him, he was completely dehydrated. He just asked for some water. He was thirsty. The plan, as mom said, was for Isaiah to take the bus Wednesday. Tuesday, the day before, mom asked the school to have his grandmother pick him up. Instead, they marked him as a walker, and he met her around the corner, which is where it seems the confusion lies. Because by the time school got out Wednesday, instead of being marked as a bus rider as planned, Isaiah was marked as a walker. So he walked. She had marked him as a walker when he was really supposed to take the bus to daycare. Fox 4 emailing Lee School leaders to find out how this happened. A district spokesperson saying it was a mistake. The principal meeting with the mother to explain today, ending with apologies and changes to how things are done at the school. The district saying the school will now be tightening its procedures to make sure this doesn't happen again. That's just unacceptable for them to release him without an adult. The school district has not said if anyone will be punished at this time. However, they do tell us that the principal has taken full responsibility and has even apologized to the student's parent. For now, in North Fort Myers, Calvin Lewis, Fox 4.